The template that we use for lessons comes with three tracks and that's normally more than enough for what we do especially considering most of the stuff we record is done live but sometimes you'll want to record an extra instrument or two on top of what you've already done live or you might want to record things one part at a time that's called multi-tracking and specifically it's a type of multi-tracking called overdubbing when you record one part and then another part on top of it later so you can see that we do actually do this a lot at Baylor's Court if we have a look at our year 11 project here Drinking old cheap bottles of wine Sit talking up for night where we've actually got 17 tracks on here at the moment so that's quite a lot um, and in order to do that it's not a complicated process at all all you need to do is next to where it says global tracks at the top of your track list there's a plus button so if you click on the plus button it brings up this dialog box here so you need to know whether you want to record an audio or a software instrument the software instruments are the sounds already within Logic itself that are controlled from the keyboard that's got the QWERTY keyboard underneath it or in front of it at the workstation. Audio is for the microphone and any of the other instruments attached to the workstation. So that's the drum kit, the bass guitar, the synthesizer or the electric guitar. So in order to record a microphone you would select audio input 1 in order to record one of the instruments that's connected as an audio instrument to the mixing desk, you'd click Audio Input 2. And in order to record a software instrument, which is the Sounds Inside Logic controlled from the controller keyboard, you would just select Software Instrument, then you can just hit Create. And that gives you another track where you can record on top of the work you've already got. And that doesn't have to be limited by anything other than your imagination. So just click as many extra tracks as you want. And you can even create multiple tracks at the same time by selecting audio, input one. And let's say we want 10 extra tracks to be ready for us here. And it creates them all ready for you. And you can just record enable what you want to add on. And it will all be ready for you to go.